Hello family and friends, Chris here on Thursday, March 29th, 2018. And you know, I'm happy to be here with you all. It's been a pretty nice day out here on the West Coast. Uh, I think uh, I noticed later in the evening, like around uh, supper time, it was about 10 degrees out. Uh, so it was, I mean, it was a bit chilly, I, I, but I, I did spend most of my day inside. Um, so it was cozy and it feels definitely like spring. Oh, what can I say? You know, here's what I've seen recently. This is a positive thing to share and I think my general audience, being my, my family, would be interested in this. And that is, uh, I saw on mainstream news today, really good reviews about the um, Roseanne show, which is making a return. And so the original show aired through the 1980s, so 1988 to uh, like 97 or something. And then recently again, 30 years later from the, when they originally started. And of course, uh, I'll take that as a personal sign I, I mean, they started up and, and I recovered 30 years ago from, from cancer, so having them, having them come back is, uh, yeah, this is, you know, 2018 is my recovery year. I don't know, but if I have to sort of put a positive spin on it, I suppose, that, that is, that's, that's how I take it. Uh, though generally people thought it was really funny and uh, the characters uh, are all the original cast uh, 30 years or so later and so and they have a, a grandchild and uh, they have the two daughters and their son uh, and then they have uh, the characters played uh, the, the mom and pop of, uh, what, uh, I guess Roseanne but what's, a, what's the, the dad's name on, on the show I don't know but it's John Goodman and Roseanne Barr. Uh, and as a point of interest, and I'll say this to my mom, um, Roseanne, there you guys are both uh, the same age uh, as far as the character and uh, real life on TV, uh, or real life too. Well, actually, I don't know real life. I mean, it's close, but the character. Um, yeah, the character is the same age as you, so I'd imagine Roseanne is as well. Uh, so, anyways, that's, that's worth... Uh, everyone taking a look at uh, <clears throat> we were, were trying to find the uh, ABC on Shaw on demand however I guess they don't carry ABC and so I'll have to figure out um, like when it's playing or whatever it's likely also carried by some channel or we have actually ABC it's just likely not on demand just a normal channel so that's one <laughs> Thing. It's easy enough to figure out. Uh, another interesting thing in the news that I saw today, and I'm hopeful for this, is uh, they, they say that these peace talks that, that were first mentioned by Trump, I believe, and uh, maybe the leader from North Korea, those, um, the, the sort of the pre-planning has been going okay, been going well, I guess is a better sort of response. Um, and that uh, the leader from North Korea went and met uh, with a leader from China and so uh, that went well and uh, it, it looks like it will be a positive thing uh, and so you know um, this is the denuclearization of North Korea who North Korea has uh, China, I suppose, as well as a guarantor that they will denuclearize, though that they also receive guarantees of, of peace as well too, and long-term stability, that they would, in fact, it was, it's part of a 10-year reunification plan with South Korea. I, I think that would be a really positive step in the world. I would like to see our NATO countries draw down the amount of uh, military involvement that we are part of in the world. I think it, we could be, and this is also something I heard today, and it, it could, it, it's, it, it's, you know, people are getting this dream 
but it was something to be a new American golden age. And we could pull, you know, and extend that to Canada as well too. Uh, but that, that, you know, uh, there's, there is a lot of positive potential. And uh, sometimes uh, even the, um, in, as far as global affairs and uh, politics and whatnot, is, is that <clears throat> opposing sides, um, it's, it's, it's really just a mentality. Now, I'm not sure, maybe this whole, that whole sentiment falls flat because it's a naive sentiment. I don't know, ask that to an opposing side in a given war, and they won't agree. So, you know what, I don't have any brilliant philosophies there, so I'm just going to let that one ride with the wind. Have I, uh, I don't think, you know, uh, look at this, I've got this in my hand, my bulletproof coffee, though I haven't yet taken a sip, so it's time. Friends and family... If you have a coffee in hand, if it's that time of the morning where a coffee is a good thing, then go get it. Our simultaneous sip begins in three, two, one, and here's a sip. So I've got a special shout out to my friend A, he's in town um, with his young son. They did a whole bunch of touristy things in Victoria, and when I say in town, I mean basically on the island. And so they, I lived in Victoria for many years, and yet they did more touristy things in one day than I did in all the time I lived, many, many years in Victoria. Uh, let's see, A said, they went to the Butterfly Museum, I think that's called, Butterfly Museum. And then there's also another one called the Bug Zoo. And then they also went, ooh, maybe there was one, there was the third one they went to, oh, then they said we can help art, which I'm, I'm familiar with that. But the Bug Zoo and the Butterfly Gardens, nope, I've never been there. I pass by these places all the time and I <clears throat> see pictures that would look pretty fascinating. They also went on a horse carriage ride. And I'll, of course, I would, uh, you know, cycle and drive around the horses all the time, trying to avoid their their poo. Uh, but they're, they're not bad. I mean, it's all part of the touristy downtown Victoria. And his son went uh, down, to, down today to all these things, and they had a really good time. And uh, I imagine spring in Victoria is likely a week or two ahead of here. It's, it was likely all the cherry blossoms and all the daffodils are out and the, it's probably brilliant. Uh, so, wow, good on you, eh? Anyways, friends and family, I think I'm gonna sign off for the night. It seems like I've been rambling for a while now. Anyways, have a good night. Friends, family, we'll talk to you tomorrow.